couple new developments to share this morning on the fight to save Dinosaur Ridge. It wasn't a lose-lose or a win-win, really more of a compromise. Reporter Amanda Del Castillo has been following this story for days now. Amanda, what's next for Dino Ridge? Well, final consideration and a decision by the board is expected at the end of this month, January 31st to be exact. But that compromise we're talking about, it's coming in the form of modifications to that rezoning application. A main concern was whether car dealerships would be built at the lot at C470 and West Alameda Parkway. We now know that car dealerships will not be allowed onto that lot. But we were there at yesterday's hearing where hundreds of people tested testified either for or against proposed development, a majority speaking out against all aspects of the rezoning application. But as it stands, the property in the center of this fight is already zoned for retail use, restaurant and office space. Modifications will allow hotels, motels and gas stations at the spot. If this goes in, it's going to be a travesty. It's going to be an absolute disaster to the people that live in proximity to this intersection. The intersection alone, the interchange at Alameda has destroyed the area. If we want to continue to provide uh, social services to the most vulnerable in our community or to deal with the wildfires we see in our mountain areas in the county or to provide public protection through the sheriff's office, I hope this is an element that you keep in mind as you decide how this county should be developed. I feel particularly comfortable with this development and this developer. Now, the developments wouldn't come to Dino Ridge specifically, but it would come to the lot next to their visitor center again on C470 and West Alameda Parkway. And again, the board will be deciding at the end of this month.